got to get that tissue out of the way in order to get the bone foundation guide in place for the surgery. And um, it just isn't a, a complication that we worry about anymore. So I know it's scary, especially if you're doing your first case. But the reason we believe that it's not a problem is because that palatal tissue, right, between the centrals is poorly innervated to start with, right? I mean, otherwise you wouldn't be able to chew on it. I mean, that area right there takes rough uh, particles of food, boluses of food that go right up against that palatal tissue. And if we had an abundance of nerves there, it would be very difficult to eat things like cornflakes or tortilla chips. Things like that would hurt. And we all know how good those things are. So we've got to have uh, the, the creator has to make us in a way where that functions well. So if it's not terribly well innervated to start with, when you, when you ablate that nerve, the patients don't have any sort of sensitivity there. There's no paresthesia noticed at all because it's not supposed to be innervated in the first place.